Hi, my name's Tom, I'm an edit assistant and a graphics designer, and I'm now going to show you how to create a stencil using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, here we can see there's one I made earlier, and this is a stencil of a car. I don't understand why I chose the car, just thought it might be a cool thing to use. And this is the original image that I used before. So I'm going to show you how to turn your images into usable stencils. Not that myself or the owners of Video Drug would condone the use of making stencils and spraying them on walls for illegal purposes, but I guess that's not in our hands. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is remove the white background of the car, because we don't need that section there. So, to do that, I'm going to use the wand tool, which is, can be found on the left hand side of the tool palette. It's got a, looks like a magic wand. Now this is a slightly lazy way of doing it, but it's kind of a quicker way. So, you, to, so to select all this white area around here, just click on the image. And as you can see, the wand area has selected all the white and it makes it very simple for me to just makes it very simple for me to just remove the white background. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the very basic colors stand out in order to make the basis of us in order to make the basis of our stencil. In order to do in order to do this, we're going to go to image adjustments. And threshold. If you change the settings of the threshold, you can make the white and the black lines stand out more indefinitely. So again, this is all up to interpretation of yourself. It depends on the image that you're using, but for this particular one, I'm gonna set it to roughly around, around there or so. Now don't worry that the edges look a little bit jagged. We're gonna sort that out in a second. So if you hit okay, you've now got your own selection. If you feel like you wanna change that, just go back to mode, adjustment, threshold, and you can continue to play around with the effects. Now, as I said before, you might be able to see there are a couple of jaggedy lines along the edge there, which doesn't make it particularly easy to use or look that nice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a very small Gaussian blur to knock out some of that jaggedness. So in order to do that, if we go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now, obviously, don't go too overboard with this. If we add a blur of around one point five, I would say in this instance, maybe a bit lower, maybe one. Let's go with one. So as you can see, it's just taken off the edge there slightly, which you know makes it a little bit nicer. So to make the blacks and the white shades a little bit more striking, we're going to use the curve tool. Now the shortcut for this is Control or Apple on your PC. So Apple or Control if you're using a PC and press the letter M. And this brings up the curves tool here. Now just by messing around with it, you can quite quickly see that it makes the blacks much, much deeper, which makes your life a little bit easier in terms of making the stencil. So I'm just going to make the, them quite 
deep as possible. Yeah, okay. So if we zoom out slightly, it's beginning to take shape. So the last thing we need to do is to go around and start making the stencil a little bit more usable. So for example, we're going to remove this little white sheen that was on the wind, car wind screen there and just maybe neatening up a few bits here and there. So in order to do that, just select your brush tool. Shortcut for that is B on your keyboard or can be found here on the left hand side of your palette. Looks a little bit like a paintbrush. So just going to change the size of the brush there. A bit smaller, we don't need it to be that big. Hit OK. Making sure here at the bottom we've got the right colour selected. In this case we're going to use the blacks to get rid of the white sheen there. And then all you've got to do is just paint over the edges. There's an odd few bits and pieces here and there which can make your life a little bit easier. Again, if you need to, you can just shrink the size of your brush just to get into all the little nooks and crannies of your stencil. And there we have it. And that's how you make a stencil using Adobe Photoshop.